I concur, all pressures in the green. My flaps will be up. Flaps are up. Set my radius to... First of all, this goes to uh, alt automatically. Negative. Negative? Standby. Standby. I was told that there's a new rule that they don't want it on standby. They want it all the way on. When you fly. I'm sorry, sir? When you're airborne, yes. Okay, no worries. Sorry. I was told that it comes on automatically. No problem. Set the radio on. Uh, 124.2 is... Um, where's my cursor? There we go. 124.2 is ATIS. Runway 16 approaches in use. Landing and departing runway 34 and 30. IFR arrivals unable to cancel IFR to circle. Advise Chicago approach and initial contact. Notice to airmen, vehicles, and personnel. Close but clear all, all active taxiways and runways. Be advised. Advise initial contact. You have information, Charlie. I'm only hearing. This, I'm only hearing this in one ear. You probably have Chicago to switch. Airport information, Charlie. 1352 Zulu. Wind 320 at 11, visibility 10, sky is clear. Temperature 21, dew point 12, altimeter 3004. Islands runway 16 approaches in use. Landing and departing runway 34 and 30. IFR arrivals, unable to cancel IFR to circle, advise Chicago approach and initial contact. Notice to airmen, vehicles and personnel, close but clear of all active taxiways and runways. Be advised, advise on this contact, you have information, Charlie. I have, uh, I have information, Charlie. We've got winds about 11 knots from the uh, west-ish, northwest, that area. Visibility is excellent, 10 miles, clear. Uh, the temp and dew point spread is very nice, very large. However, I think this might be close to, what, 70 degrees, 21 Celsius? And that's where you want the uh, mixture lean slightly so we don't follow the spark plugs? Or yeah, it won't hurt if you do it. So, lean now? If you like. Sure, just a little bit. I go approach and well, Acceptable? Lean it the way you want to, uh, the way you normally would. I'm sorry, sir? Lean how you normally would lean it, if you're familiar. Be advised. Advise on the Good enough. Information, Charlie. Uh, you, don't, you don't really know how to lean? Not on my RPMs. Oh, okay, let me show you. I'm just going to pull it out. I'm going to look for a little bit of a rise in RPMs. Okay. Wind okay. Zero sure. one one. Visibility one zero. Sky is clear. Temperature two one. So I'm doing it click by click now. So I go out about an inch and a half. Now I'm just click by click. Click. Is in use. Each time I click it out, I'm looking for a rise. Zero. IFR. Oh, okay. whoa. It doesn't want to be leaned very much. So then I'm just going to go in about to an inch here. That's all. And that'll be acceptable? Okay. Perfect. I have information, Charlie. Now, are you getting two years? No, I'm not getting okay, two Okay, let's hear little controls. There's a switch for stereo mono. Maybe it's on the back or something. Chicago Executive Airport. Oh, did you turn on? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, there's a switch. There we on. go. Yes, got it. Okay, and is that noise canceling turned on? It is. Visibility one zero. Oh, there's no lights, huh? The lights right there. Oh, okay. Top ring. Hi, right, how's it sound? It, so it sounds fine. Okay, very good. This seems like it's really bulky in the way, though. Approach is in use. So, I don't well, know. Well, then, you know, I get the same thing. Okay. <laughs> I have information, Charlie. Everything looks good. We're going to be departing 34 or 30. I'm going to change to executive ground, which, oh, wow, how'd that happen? Close, but clear. And I'm going to say the following. Executive ground, Cessna 6001 Golf at Area 2, departing to the northwest of the 8 is Charlie. He'll give me instructions. I'll read them back. Do you concur? Yeah, do check your volume before you do anything, okay? Because you turned it down pretty low. Oops, sorry. Now, if you hit the squelch, the SQ button here, yes. you'll hear... Is that loud enough? There we go. Now tap it again. You know, that's a little test that gets rid of the filters on the radio so you can help you to hear how loud it is. Okay. You concur with my uh, contacting... Um, yeah. I'm worrying. Well, see, these are the questions. Don't ask me. I'm, I'm, I'm evaluating you. No worries. So just do your thing. I believe I'm prepared and I'm going to be, I'm going to uh, go. Executive ground, Cessna 6001 Golf, Area 2. Depart to the northwest with 8 is Charlie. So the 6001 Golf Executive Ground Runway 34, taxi via Alpha, cross runway 30. Runway 34, taxi to, uh, via Alpha, cross runway 30, 601 Golf. Okay, we gotta go, gotta go. Birdie or two, I'm gonna go that way to Alpha, I'm gonna cross runway 30. 
130 is right here. Uh, what the hell is 130? God damn it. 430. I'm going to cross 130. Right, he wants me on the 34 pad. I'm going to cross 130. I have permission. Okay. So a little brake check before you do anything, okay? So when you start rolling forward back there, you just want to tap the brakes a little bit, mm -hmm. okay? Just okay. to make sure they work before you go anywhere. Sorry about that. I'm going to make a right turn up there. That'll be Alpha. I'm going to hang right. He's giving me permission to cross runway 30. I'm heading for the 3-4 pad. Yeah. Do, you, do you concur? Runway 30. Runway 30. We're going to take runway 34, taxi a taxi way uh, through uh, Alpha, crossing 30. He's crossing 30, yeah. He's giving us permission to cross. Good. Yeah, you say runway 30. I'm correcting you. I apologize. That's okay. Just want to make sure it's runway 30. Now, how should your ailerons, ailerons be? I see nobody on the ground here. Now we're cleared to cross. Yes, sir. How should your ailerons be for the wind? Uh, crabbing into the wind, coming into the northwest, I should be moving a little this way. All the way. Uh huh. All the way. Executive ground, Hawker 9 or 2, 9 or 2, X ray out of Atlantic. I'm crossing this runway. This is runway 30. Yeah. There's nothing in the area. Charlie. Hawker 9 or 2, 9 or 2, X ray, executive ground, runway 3 4, taxi via Lima. Cross runways 1, 2, and 6. I'm going to go into the 3 4 pad. Runway 3 4 via Lima. Cross runways 1, 2, and 6. I'm going to go into the 3 4 pad and I'm going to go into the wind. Check my wind sock, but my wind sock's coming from that way. at the 3-4 pad. I'm supposed to do my run up into the wind. The wind is going that way, so I'm going to go a little bit further. A little bit further. It's good enough to turn here. The wind. Okay. So I'm at the 3-4 pad. I'm going to do my run up. I have my brakes on. Cabin doors and windows locked, please. Thank you. Flight controls, check movement. No worries. First ailerons. Up, down, up, down. Check the elevator. Check my rudders. Everything looks good. Elevator trim is set to take off position. Yes, it is. Throttle to 1700. Brakes. Sir, battles at 1700. Thank God. Engine instrument suction, I believe that's okay. I'm going to do my magnetos check for the RPM drop off. Right hand is on the throttle while you do this, right? If you accidentally go to off, you'll pull the power to idle. Magnetos check for 75 RPM difference. A little bit. I saw a little bit. I saw a little bit. RP for RPM drop. Yep, it dropped. Ammeter meter check by splitting the master and only the only the first no, one. It's uh, charging. Don't bother. Fine. Don't bother. Yes, sir. Throttle yeah. retard to idle. One thousand RPM. Light instruments. I'm set. Radio set the tower at 119. Cursor, please. 119.9. I set my radio to uh, ticket of tower. 
Fuel shut off confirmed is in the down position. My mixture is confirmed. Well, it's not fuel rich, but we've already discussed that issue. Transponder at 1200, that's visual flight oh, rules. no. 13, push it in. I thought we had mm -hmm. I thought we had dealt with that, so I, I didn't do that. That's okay. Sorry about that. That's okay. My flaps are up. We're going to be doing normal takeoff. I believe I've done the pre-flight uh, run-up. I'm going to contact Executive Tower. Let's read the normal takeoff checklist real quick. Certainly. My flaps are up. My car peeps off. My brakes have applied. Throttle's going to be full up and boom. Uh, instruments will be in the green. They still are. Elevator control. This nose wheel at 55. and climb to 80, 70, 80 miles an hour. Right, so in English, you're going to do what? Without reading the dust, what are we going to do on takeoff? Well, basically, we, well, I'm going to I'm going to receive clearance to take off. Uh huh. And once that happens, I'm going to taxi over here and going to go right that way to uh, runway three four. I'm going to get into position, uh -huh. and then I'm going to do full throttle, take up my my feet off the brakes, put my heels back down on the ground. We're going to go. Gonna go the line. Say it again. We're going to go straight. Uh, I'm going to accelerate basically. Engine 560, negative clearance, clear to the Rockford Airport via radar vectors. Maintain 3000, uh, expect 4000. One zero minutes after. Be uh, going to turn to the west. Okay, so go ahead. You, you're missing a couple steps on the takeoff. So we line up on the runway, and we'll, then, we'll then up, what do we do? Three, four, cleared for takeoff. We, we line up on the runway. I, I guess you'd want me to check the windsock again, make sure where the wind's coming from. Oh, okay, so put in, in the proper correction, yes. Okay, good. All right. And then what? Um, it'll be full throttle, feet off the brakes, we're going to nope. go. Nope. Full throttle, then what? One moment, please. Full throttle. You can read the list again, if you wish. After full throttle. Engine instruments are in the green. Then you're going to release the brakes. I see. My, I see. I see. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, slow down. Relax. I'm fine. Thank uh, you. Fine. Let's do it, man. All right. Let's go flying. All right. No worries. Thank All you for right. that clarification. I appreciate that. Yeah. If you're going to blow an oil line, John, I want you to do it sitting still. I'm going to blow what now? If you're going to blow an oil line or crack a cylinder, something bad's going to happen. Yes. I want you to do it sitting still before we start rolling down the runway. That's a good idea, actually. That's the whole deal. Okay. That's why we do that, okay? I'm going to contact Executive Tower. Ses Executive Tower, Cessna 6001, Gulf, holding short of runway 34, ready for departure. He'll give me clearance or tell me to wait or whatever. I repeat back then. Now, we're not actually short of the runway, so you got to tell him you're in the 34 pad. In the 34 pad. Cessna 7 uniform Delta appears no VFR truck for the next five miles. Frequency change change of route. We're in the pad. We're ready for takeoff. Three, four pads specifically. Thank you, sir. Here it goes. Hawker 92 X ray, contact Chicago departure. Have a safe flight. 92 X ray. I'll turn it off just a little bit for you. Executive Tower, Cessna 6001 Golf in the three, four, three, four pad, ready for takeoff. Cessna 6001 Golf, Executive Tower, on course to the northwest, runway 34, cleared for takeoff. Cleared for takeoff, runway 3401 Golf. Let's go, let's go. We're done. He gave us directions. We got to get out of here. Got to go. No dilly dallying. That stays there. Yes, I'll go which way now while you're taxiing? We're going this way. I'm just saying your ailerons need to go that way. There you go, because you got your wind sock right there. I see nothing on the taxiway, we're clear. I see that guy over there, but I'm assuming that, um... Am I assuming incorrectly? Keep on going, sir. Yes, He's sir. holding short. You get the clearance. Don't want to go too fast. Hey, don't be so close to the grass. Lining up. Brakes are on. Oh, easy. Straighten up. Let me straighten up. Brakes are on. A <laughs> whiplash. <laughs> Sorry, the wind. The wind's coming straight for us. I'm going to go straight. No need to crab. Good. Power full on. Brakes released. Negative, sir. Cessna zero Green. one Gulf, opposite direction. Cessna on a 15 mile final for runway one six. What do you say? I'll take care of it. Zero one Gulf, Roger. Uh, we'll be heading northwest immediately. Bud. 
I'll tell you later. I'm sorry, what did he say? He's opposite direction on a 15 mile final. He's 15 miles out. He's just letting us know. I have no idea what that means. Yeah, no worries. We'll talk about it on the ground. Chicago Executive Tower, Cessna 6265 Tango, hold in short runway 34, urge for departure. Okay, climb us at 75, would you please? Cessna 6265 Tango, sorry, Executive Tower, I'm at 75. direction. VY. King Air is 15 I, miles northwest of the airfield. I, I, I can't hear you, what's Okay, the climb at VY, please. Make the right 75. 75 miles an hour? Pitch up for 75. Right, close traffic, runway 34, clear for takeoff, 6265 Tango. Let's get the nose up for 75, okay? Yeah, higher than that. I don't want to go too high. Angle of attack. You have to pitch up for 75, though. Just trim it up. Relax. I can't trim until we're stable. Trim, trim happens when we, when we get stable. Oh, yeah, you're stable. You've got 75. You want me to trim now? Yep. Let's see what she does. I'm going too high. I'm going too. I'm going too fast. Too high. Okay, let's get off the uh, center line and go to your, uh, let's go to 300 on the heading, okay? Yes. 300. Zero, zero. I see no traffic ahead. Good, let's get that right rudder in there. You mean You're left rudder, don't you? Uh, no, right rudder. There you go, you have a lot of torque. I'm at 300, going 300. Executive Tower, good morning. Yeah, hold the right rudder, please. With Charlie at the racetrack inbound for Hangar 5. Chapter 5, Executive Tower, continue inbound, report one out, landing Hangar 5. All right, we're across the track, so let's do a gentle right-hand turn, just a 330. I'm going at, oh, 330, yes, sir. I'm looking to the right, okay. nothing there. Making my bank. Yeah, just shallow. Nice and easy. Here it comes. Cessna 4973 Fox Shot Executive Tower. 330. West for runway 34. Clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff. 34. 73 Fox Shot. 73 Fox Shot, just want to verify you'll be westbound. I'll call your turn to the northwest. Affirmative. Climbing at 500. Uh, what altitude do you want me to stabilize at? I'm at 1800 right now. Uh, let's go to 25. 2500, please. King Air 193 Fox Rock Chair, Executive Tower, opposite direction. Cessna, departing runway 34 is going to be in a left turn. To the left. Heading 330. Report cancellation. Although my compass doesn't say that. i got to make a turn to get a 330. Oh, use that. Your compass won't be accurate in the climb, right? Four and a half west of okay. The Compasses are not accurate in the climb because they're tilted. Fox Rock Zero. You can only check your compass when we're straight and level. I'm at 2,000 feet, yeah, climbing at about 400 feet a minute. Yeah, I'm with you now. Kinger 3 Fox right here, IFR cancellation receive, squawk VFR, begin your circle. Okay, is it pretty trimmed up? Can you kind of let go? Two, pretty good. Let's take a look right and see down. what she does. Bit of a buffet here. Three Maybe a little bit trimmed up more. Nose up. Turn nose up. Uh, yeah, the other way. That's nose down. There you go. This is up. Yes, sir. Chapter 5, remain west of runway 34 at all times. I have a Cessna midfield. He wants to go up. I don't want to go up. Down. Trim nose down. I want flat. No, no. We're going up. We, we do want to go to 25. That, uh, that's, yes, we do. Yeah. You're okay. Another 300 feet to go. Cessna 65 Tango, runway 34. Clear to land. 34, clear to land. 6265 Tango. 2350 or 2350. Still heading at direct 2330. Begin your left turn as soon as able. 735. Coming up to 2400 feet. I see no traffic in the area. Good. Let's do a gentle turn towards north, okay? Helicopter will be landing at Hangar 5 will remain west of your runway at all. You can just kind of read that back to me. Right turn 360. Right turn 360. Great. Heading north, yes sir. We've stayed at 2,500 feet. Do not wish to climb any further. Let's see what she's doing. Uh, she still wants to climb, so nose down. She still wants to climb, nose down. Well, let's get the power set for cruise. My yeah. apologies, my apologies. 2,300 RPM. Sure. 
999 Delta Golf Executive Power Report, cancellation of ISS. There we go. Good enough. Eastern West, your choice for runway 34. 2,500 feet. Okay, we yeah. can cancel IFR at this time. This and trim uh, up. Danny, want to circle East or West, our choice for runway 34. Heading north still. So, Delta Golf, affirmative IFR, cancellation of ISS. 2,500 feet. VFR, runway 34. Why are we climbing? Continue. Trim nose down. 349 Delta Golf. Well, you got to remember what you're trimming for, actually, is the speed, right? I'm at 80, 86, 87 miles an hour. Yeah, you're trimming for an airspeed, correct? So you wanted me to go to 75? Just asking. Do you know that you're trimming for a speed? I... By trimming, by trimming the way my... I'm going to uh, kill them since we're done with them for now, okay? All right, so we're trimming for an actual airspeed, correct? Yes. Okay, so the speed has to be kind of stable before you can really get a good trim, right? Yes. Yeah, so fly the plane first, trim will be second, and once you get your airspeed kind of stable, which it seems to be pretty stable now. But I'm descending, I don't want to descend. Yeah, so I'd add just 100 RPMs and leave the RPMs alone. Maybe up there, right about there, that'd be fine. And everything else, you know, in these kind of bumps like this, you're going to get little ups and downs. It's never going to be perfect. But now that we are straight and level, let's go ahead and verify your heading indicator. Might be a little off, yeah? One moment, please. One moment. All right. I've got a bit of a lag in the compass. I need a, bit, a moment or two. Make sure we're going north. All right, got to turn a little bit. Uh, yeah, you don't really want to turn us. Now, sitting inside the compass, just looking outside, which way is north? Point is that way. And then set your heading indicator. Yeah, I agree. These roads are north, right? Yes. Yeah. I, I would hope so. I agree. They're well, Illinois. Yes. Illinois has right. got the whole north, south, east, west thing going for us. I've gained about 50 feet in altitude. Yeah, I can see that. You don't have to tell me. You just go ahead and make small fixes. Okay. Okay, let's just set your heading indicator for north, because this feels like north. Very good. Set. All right, how about a clearing turn to west, please? To the west, I need to look and see if there's anything out there. Good. Nothing. Gentle turn, a little back pressure. And roll out. I am heading due west. I gained about 50, 75, 80 feet in altitude. And let's just do a little clearing turn back towards north now, okay? Lift my wing. I see nothing in the area. Making a turn to going back north. Gentle, gentle. A little bit of back. Whoa, sorry about that. A little bit of back pressure. Using my rudder to point my nose. Whoa, I'm sorry, I blew 100 feet. I hit 2600. When you do your check ride? Yes. Don't draw the attention to that. <laughs> Just make a fix. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm they may, the examiner may not see that, <laughs> and you don't want to point that out. You could just ease power back a little bit. If you're hitting, see, you're hitting some up and down drafts, so don't worry about it. You know, just just ease us down. I know that the throttle of power is for the uh, climb and the descent. Yeah. And it's the uh, pitch of the nose that determines the speed. Yeah. There you go. So this is great. Now, why don't you go ahead and put us into a slow flight, okay? The area looks clear. Uh, okay. Before I do slow flight, I want to review. Sure. Slow flight, I'm going to reduce my RPMs to 1,700. I'm going to put my carb heat on, and then I'm going to uh, start pitching my my nose up uh, and also trimming my nose for nose up. Uh, I'm not going to extend flaps until I get stable in that position. Do you concur? Um, I would say some, make it a little simpler. From left to right, I'd go carpet, 1700, 10 degrees right away. All right. Just like in the traffic pattern. All right. Don't I, change your procedure. You're doing the pattern exactly the same way. I see no traffic in the immediate area. I'm going to prepare to do a slow flight. Let's do it. Carp heat is on. Yeah. 
throttle reduced to 1700. Yeah, and you can see you're in the white arc, so that's cool. Just hold your nose up and uh, holding nose up. A little flap action. Flaps 10 degrees. Yeah, I'm only going to have you do 10 with the bumps today, okay? You want to do 20? No. No more. no more than 10. 10, yeah. 10, perfect. Now hold your nose up for the altitude. Certainly. I've dropped down to 2400. There you go. Hand is on the throttle. Yep. Direction is north. Feel free to trim if you need to, okay? Trimming my nose up. For slow flight. Gentle, gentle. I need to go nutty. Yeah, don't forget that now we're down here at the slow speed, so I had about 1,900 RPMs or so. One moment, please. I'm at 1,900, yes I am. The, uh... Or so. You might or so. more, you know. The, um... I've lost the altitude to 2350. I want to go up. Power up. Yeah. The region of reduced or reverse command. Good. I'm at about 55-ish, 57 miles an hour. That'll work for me. So, need a lot of right rudder though, that's why the heading's drifting in. If we stall, if I hear the stall horn, I'm putting throttle full in. Correct? Yeah, you're not gonna stall, we're too fast for that right now. You can stall at any speed. Angle of attack is what matters. Yeah, this angle of attack and the speed, you will not stall. Okay. You'd have to do something pretty dramatic to do I that. I right don't now. intend on doing anything dramatic. I see nothing, in, I see no planes in the vicinity. We Let's are clear. Left turn to west, please. Gentle, gentle, left turn to west turn. Whoa, 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 that was too, that fell too fast. Okay, more right rudder on that rollout. That ball wasn't uh, centered up very good. Overshot. There we go, west. Okay, work on your coordination. Uh, again, we're going to try to turn to north. Just keep it shallow and uh, don't forget your rudders. Here we go. Clear, I don't Clear see right. anything. Good. Shallow, that's enough. More, a little bit more. Rolling back out. Okay, we are heading north. I see no traffic in the vicinity. Our speed is about a little over 50 miles an hour, 2,500 feet exactly. Let's try going back to west this time, okay? Going back to west. Easy on the rudders. I see nothing in the area. I've checked my, under my wing. Rolling gentle, gentle, gentle. Balls in the center. Almost there at west. The traffic in the vicinity. And rolling uh, out. We are heading west. Yeah, a little more right rudder on the rollout. So that ball kind of went off to the side there. Yes, I see it. All right. Okay, we're going to do a left 360 all the way back around here to west. All right. Stay one. Lift that wing, make sure nobody's there, and give it a shot whenever you're ready. Looking under my wing, I see no traffic in the area, I'm making my left turn, 360. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Yeah. 2600. We're not really turning because you're adding, your rudders are kind of getting all goofy there. Too much left rudder. Too much left rudder. You actually may need right rudder because of torque. South. Uh, keep it steady, please. Oh, is that Kemper over there? How nice! That's Kemper, right? That's like Zurich right here. Uh, no. Is it? No. No, it's not? No. Alright, heading east. That's Mundelein. Mundelein? Yeah, we're going all the way to west. Oh, these wacky suburbs. They're all the same. <laughs> yeah, they are, actually. Almost heading back north. Almost heading back north. Trying to straighten out. And we are heading back north. Yeah, we're supposed to be going west. I'm sorry, we'll continue to go west, sir? Yeah. One moment, please, yes, you're correct. That was a full turn. Sorry, Chicago Public School System. <laughs> what can I say? All right. I'm seeing no traffic in the vicinity. We're okay. And almost there. Yes, we are heading yeah, back west.
Just if you didn't use the right rudder when you rolled out there. There you go. Okay, so you need to work on keeping those smoother. Okay, yes. we should have a nice easy bank all the way around. You kept starting and stopping for some reason, and you can't do that. We've 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 gone too high in altitude. I'm almost at 2,800 yeah. feet. Just hold this altitude. Don't go lower or higher or anything. Just hold this one. Now you have traffic 1130, about five miles. Where's 1130? And my 1130 is over there. Yeah, 1130 at five miles. You see him at our altitude? Big white dot. Looks like he's doing slow flight or something over there. I don't see him. Okay. Do you see the horizon? Yes. Look straight above the horizon and there's a little white dot about an inch above the horizon. It's not going to be a factor for us at this point. It looks like he's going away from us. Okay, let's do a right to 360, okay? And try to hold the bank angle consistent. I see nobody under my wing. This really feels more like I'm using my ailerons to turn than I'm using my rudder. Yeah. You should. You're going to counterbank for the overbanking tendency just like that. This is a little smoother. This is better. I guess I'm right-handed. I guess that's why. Some people okay. find it easier to go one direction versus another. I see the loop down there. Yep. Keep this bank, though. There you go. That's the bank. That's consistent. Okay, we're looking for about 15 or so. You're at 10 right now, so just a little bit more. I don't want to bank too extremely. Nope, you got up to about 30. Then you'll be okay. And we're heading back. Okay, we're way too much rudder. Look. Look at the ball. See that? Okay, okay that traffic is right at the horizon. 12 o'clock. Yes, I see him right there. Very good. Okay, so he's no factor to us. Okay. Okay, are you ready to, um, do it? let's turn a little bit away from a 240, please. 240. Left uh, turn, 240. That way. That way. Not too much rudder, that's too much. I've gained an altitude over 2900. Yeah. Should I, kill, should I reduce my power? Um, this, you kind of shot through your, your heading there. We just want to go to 240. Four zero. Okay, very good. Now, I'd like you to show me a power off stall. So you're just going to gently lower the nose for gliding speed of about 60 and reducing the RPMs and glide us for a little bit, okay? 1,700. And we're going to do a power off. So power all the way gone now. Excuse me. Like I, you're coming into land. You want me to pull the throttle pull out? Yes. Uh -huh. Power I, off approach to landing stall. I am pulling the throttle full off starting right now. Uh, now we're nose, taking our time. Nose is pitching down. Yeah, looking for about 60, so don't pitch down too much, okay? Pulling up a little bit. Watch the up. heading. Going 70. Watch your heading. We're on 240. Okay, bring yourself for a gentle stall, okay? I don't. And do the full recovery. I have no idea how to do that. Oh, you haven't done stalls? Yes, we have done stalls. I'm a bit concerned. Okay, um, just pull the nose up. I'm going to work on it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Nose right, up. the angle of attack. Yeah, nose it up for the stall. And then I'm going to throttle pull in when I hear the horn. Nope, you're going to stall it before you hear the horn. I want you to actually do the stall. Pull it up like you made it. Pull back. Pull back. You're turning, so stop the turn with the ailerons. The rudder. Pull it up like you mean it. We're going to get it to stall. i got to pull my... Yeah, straight back, and we're going to stall it. I'm under 40. Yeah, we haven't stalled yet. We're not stalled. Pull it up like you mean it. That's the stall. Now you may recover. Easy does it. And Kirby, don't worry about the flaps. That's cool. Get to the 60, and then put your flaps up. There's 60. Now you can go flaps up. Cool. That wasn't so bad. We've done stalls, but I just tell you... Um I really don't want to get a big fan. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of pulling the power yep. when I'm up uh, 2,000 feet up in the air. Better to pull it up here than down by the ground, huh? Agreed. Let's do a heading of a uh, 300, please. No worries. That other traffic, FYI, has gone. He's gone north. He's about seven miles north and head north. You want 300? 300, please. 300. Yeah, not 300, 300. 300 coming up. 
blowing back out. 300, 2300 feet. Okay. You're going to go back up to about 2700 feet and you're going to show me another stall. One moment, please. For descent, I need more power. I have for ascent, I need you more power. You should have full throttle in there. Don't mind me. I'm just taking little notes so I can remember to talk about stuff. I'm looking for traffic. I see nothing. Approaching 2700, I'm going to pull back to cruising at 2300. Remember the procedure is to keep it full throttle until you're at cruise speed. So full throttle until you're at the speed you want to cruise at, which is about 90. Once you level off and get your 90, then you can pull your power. The power stays full until you're at 90 and the speed. I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. Stay at full power until you're at your cruise speed, and then you can set it back after you get the cruise speed. But I'm going to keep ascending if I am at full power. Nope, you're going to control the pitch with your nose. Get to 90, and then set your power. Here comes 90, now you can set your power, you push your nose forward. And then you can trim for the speed that you're cruising at. So your level off procedure is set your pitch, accelerate to cruise, reduce the RPMs, then trim away pressure for the airspeed. Now that traffic has moved from right to left, he's dead ahead, about five miles, just above the horizon. Do you see him? No, I don't see him. Okay, he's not, you're not, you're not going to hit him or anything, it's just a, uh, you see the white water tower right over here? Yes. Look up for the water tower and to the right. You'll see him. Just the, above the haze layer. Okay, no worries. Let's turn towards the north. We're going to turn a little bit away from him. And I need you to set us up for a power off stall all by yourself now. We're heading towards the north. Okay. For a 28.50. Okay. So, um, I want to get back down towards 60. I'm going to uh, carp heat, reduce throttle to 1700 first. Get into slow speed. Pulling my nose up. Pulling my nose up. I get to about 60. I want to feel comfortable going at a slow speed before I do anything drastic. I don't see any traffic in the area. Uh, the procedure is you need 10 degrees of flaps out. 10 degrees of flaps. We're at 60 miles an hour. And you should now do what? I need to trim my nose up. Uh, we're doing another power off stall. That means you have to glide us in a descent. My apologies. With no power. Okay. All right, my speed is reducing to 55. Um, yeah, you should lower the nose for the speed and kill the power. All right, I am lowering the nose for the glide speed of about 60. I'm killing the power in five, four, three, two, power's off. Pitching forward, glide. For 60. For 60. And stall whenever you're stable. Okay, 70 miles an hour. 65 miles an hour, 60. Okay, so I'm pitched the nose properly. Let's get this all done. I'm gonna raise the nose, raise the nose, raise the nose, raise the nose, raise the nose. I'm at 50 miles an hour. I see no traffic in the immediate vicinity. I'm going north, 2,400 feet. Stall horn, I'm gonna pull back like I mean it. 40 miles an hour, I'm pulling back. Pulling back. Pulling back. Ooh, okay, power's on, car heats off. Easy, easy, easy. Going through 60, put your flaps up. Flaps are up. Okay. Back to cruise, please, at this altitude. At 2300? Yes. Alright. No climbing, sir. Yeah, 
still climbing. Now you need full throttle to cruise speed. Now you're at 90, so now you can do the power. Don't climb, sir. Okay, can you locate us to uh, find your way to Lake and Hills Airport? I'm sorry, please repeat. Uh, let's go to Lake and Hills Airport. Is that Chain of Lakes? I don't know. Great question. That's a great question. Look at the map. Yeah, but hold the altitude, okay? You gotta keep that pitch down, you're still climbing. Fly the airplane first, trim, all, trim it, and whatever you gotta do, okay? Aviate, navigate, communicate, communicate. Yeah, you might power back just a little bit. There you go. Kinda helps in the bumps too. I'm heading due north, 24, 2450 feet. I gotta get my map. Upside down. If we're by Wakanda, I gotta go into southwest-ish. Okay, great. Lift that wing before you make the turn, though. That traffic goes somewhere back to our left. One moment, please. Gotta do something about this pad. It's driving me nuts. Lifting the wing to look, I see nothing. I'm going to head southwestish. Yeah, bus rudder. Look at your ball. Way out of whack. Okay, heading southwest, uh, we should be able to see Lake in the Hills. Great. Gotta turn the frequency on. Is that on? VFR runway 34, continue. Tiger clock in VFR, 456234. So we're before to pop, extend down. Base traffic holding to depart prior to your arrival. Before to pop, extend down, wind. So, uh, something uniform, Delta, yeah. runway 34, clear to land, uh, turn base if you can. Start for Lock and Deer, and uh, uh, we'll be with you for uh, a couple hours this afternoon, and we'll advise any services on the ground. You can't click it when they're talking. Sorry. It won't work. Pretty darn low. Remember what their pattern altitude is? 1800. Okay, so we don't want to be there just yet. I'm not seeing any landmarks that could tell me where I am. Well, you had a really beautiful one. Um, we kind of flew away from it. You know, the chain of lakes. Um, what's the next body of water as we head west? Oop, don't lose altitude. The chain of lakes? Yeah, what goes south of the chain of lakes? You got a river, don't you? Fox River? Yeah, keep it out for the river. That's a river right there. Fantastic, why don't you follow that? That kind of leads you towards Lake in the Hills, sort of, doesn't it? Holland, Tulip City traffic, Cessna 122 Kilo Sierra is 5 to the south. We'll be entering the field left downwind for 26. Holland. Yes, this one right here. Traffic, air traffic. And then it'll be on my, on my right. Yeah. Runway 30. Okay. Follow the river. Pondalock traffic, Castle 77, uh, Merlin. Call it uh, 10 miles to the east. Inbound runway 36.
got these big power lines here. They're on your map, too. Okay, so I'm at about uh, 1,925 feet, going about 95 miles an hour, heading at, uh, I'm heading southeast, but I'm following the river, so it doesn't matter. But actually, the airport should be within sight. Yeah, when you come down this low, it's kind of tough to see stuff, that's why we want to be up a little bit higher, makes it a little easier on you. So you want to kind of climb up, that'd be maybe a little helpful. And you know the river's going to be taking you east of it, so you know it'll be off your right somewhere, huh? Exactly. Okay. What do you reckon that? What do I recommend? Yeah. I'm looking for the airport. I'm still I'm on my right-hand side. Okay. Because you know off your left-hand side, you're going to pass by uh, a couple of lakes that you're familiar with. A couple of the lakes that I'm familiar with is Lake Zurich. That's one of them. Before that is Wakanda, right? And that's shaped like a peanut. Early your traffic experiment last here at 80 fish. Joe Bravo is yeah. live. It's Wakanda, uh, right? He's going to be over flying the field at 3,000 and doing a practice ILS, or the practice uh, VOR tonight. And one should be right over there. Still city traffic, just on 1 to 2 kilos here is entering midfield, left downwind, 2 6. One left traffic, Castle 77, uh, Maryland, turn it. Yeah, call it a four mile final runway, uh, 3 6. One left. So the next lake, if that's Wakanda, that next lake is. Lake Zurich. Great, and from Lake Zurich, which way is the airport? West, straight west. Straight west, so you, you can kind of start looking way over there and you'll see. Maybe an airport off your wing. There's the um, there's that that field that's always there. I could actually cut through this way. Yeah, look right off your right, right wing tip. See the lake? See the airport? There it is. Okay. Got it. All right, too much rudder. Not enough rudder. <laughs> there's a happy ground there somewhere. Happy medium. I have to state my intentions. Lake in the Hills, so it's not 6001 Golf. Um, downwind? Well, we don't know which runway we're going to just yet. So, the non towered. If you don't get this uh, automated thing working, you're going to overfly the field and look for a windsock, right? What do I do? Uh, I'm, I'm at the frequency. Is it loud enough? Can you tap in your squelch there? hearing nothing. Yeah, maybe do it a little bit quicker. Quicker? Uh-huh. It'll be broken. Okay, so let's go up to 500 feet above the pattern. Full throttle. Head on up there. Basically, let's just make it an even 2500, okay? Sure. And you're going to fly over the field. You're going to determine the runway by looking for the wind sock. There's a windsock on top of the green building. Yeah, I know. That's a, that's a poorly placed place yeah. for a windsock. Yeah. We can announce our intentions now, if you like. Uh, just that we're... Uh, In pattern? About four, no, we're about four miles uh, east. We're going to overfly the airport at 2500 looking for the windsock. I'll say that? In English, yeah. Lake in the Hills, Cessna 6001 Golf, approximately four miles east of the field, circling the field, looking for the windsock, Lake in the Hills. At 2,500. At 2,500 feet, Lake in the Hills. Yeah, good enough, I would say. Lake in the Hills. Yeah, I almost had somebody talking there. Can 
Can you hear me okay? Yep. Uh-huh. Six and draft air tractor, 502 the Yankee is three miles to the south. Inbound for three zero. Six. Inbound for three zero. At some other airport. I'm sorry? That's this is a shared frequency, so that was some other airport. Okay. I see no traffic in the area, I see nothing on the ground over there. We're at about 2,600 feet. Go back a little bit. Yeah, don't fly us in a slip. You're kind of flying crooked right now. All right, what do you want me to do? Don't, don't fly in a slip, you're kind of pushing the right rudder. That's runway 8. If we come and land that way, that's runway 8. Uh, if we land... From, from the west going east, that's runway 8. That's runway 8, yes. Okay, power back a little bit. Raise your nose, huh? Should we, should we descend to land? Let's power back a little bit. We haven't determined the runway. Let's go Take circle over this. Just go over the five building three and uh, try to find the sock, okay? I'm looking at that green building, I'm looking yeah. at it. Well, let's turn left and circle over it so we can see it. You want me to oh, cross the airfield? Stay on top of the field and circle so we can see the windsock, please. Yeah, it's pointing from the... I can't see it, sir. You have to go over to the buildings. I can't see it. Okay, I can't cross... My, my airplane. Yeah, sir, you have to circle over the buildings so that we can see the windsock. Okay, I can't I didn't see it. I'm very sorry, I did not want to cross directly perpendicular over the top of the airfield. Why? I wasn't aware that was permitted. I thought that we had to go around and either land or go around. No. When you're looking for a windsack, you have to circle over it so you can actually see it. It's pointing okay. that from the it's pointing from the south east. Uh, that doesn't make too much sense. Okay, straight north, coming from the yeah, north. Yeah, that north. makes much better sense. North, north, it? north, and maybe a little bit northwest. So I would yes. say yes. You're going to use runway two six. You agree? Yes, I concur. Okay, so well, what you're going to do is you're going to continue your circle around here. Your airplane, keep circling. You're going to end up facing south. Okay? Yes. Keep your nose up. You got the airplane? I have the airplane. Okay. Go around and face south, and then once you've turned to south, you can start descending down to your pattern altitude. Nice and easy on a heading of 180. Keep turning, sir. South. Don't descend. We're not ready. We want to be on a heading of south, okay? Yeah, you got to bank us. We need to turn. Now, in order to get to left traffic for 2-6, we're going to fly away from the airport, so keep turning all the way around. You're going to fly around this lake and come back from from this direction over here, back towards the airport, okay? Yes. And that'll enter on your 45 degree left midfield down for runway 2-6. Okay, but I'm going to around the lake. Right around this lake right here, yeah. And you can start on down to pattern altitude now, okay? Don't forget your rudders when you turn. Power on back, relax. Just 2100 RPMs would be just fine, okay? It's kind of bumpy. Okay, we're going to state our intentions. You're two miles south, and you'll be uh, planning, you're planning for left midfield down, 26, Lake in the Hills traffic. Lake in the Hills, Cessna 6001 Golf, approximately two miles south of the field, uh, looking to land on runway 26. Lake in the Hills. Yeah, it's not really what I said. You're planning for left midfield down on runway 26. Lake in the Hills, Cessna 6001 Golf, planning for left midway downhill. That, that, that's okay. Right. You haven't done these calls before, right? I've done a number of calls. Okay, turn back at the airport. I've done a number of these calls, it's just, just that I don't remember them all exactly. That's okay, you focus on the flying, I'll nail the radios, okay? And you'll yes, hear sir. it on the tape. Yes, sir. That'd be a good recording for you. Lake Nails traffic, uh, zero one golf entering left midfield down, runway 26 Lake Nails. You're way below pattern altitude. And you know how to fly the rest of the traffic pattern, right? More or less? Are you okay with the procedures now? I'm fine. Oh, you're losing altitude though.
gonna land from the east going west. Affirmative. I'm lowering my RPMs to 1700. Car beat's always first. Car beat's always first. The car beat is on. Raising the nose. Raising the nose. When I'm at a beam, of, okay, I'm, I'm gonna be a 45. With this wind, 10 degrees is your max flap, so let's get those out, huh? Sure. That's all you're gonna get today with this wind. Got it, 10 degrees flaps, all 1700. Right. Because, because we're a little bit low, you should go to base now. Turning in. Lake Mills traffic, zero one golf, turning to left, base, runway 26, Lake Mills traffic. Lower the nose, you're pulling back for some reason. Your airspeed should be about 70, 75. I don't want to dive. You should be at 70, 75. Well, Lincoln traffic, experimental on the five mile final for 70, 75 is going to give you about a 500 foot per minute rate of descent. Okay. If you raise the nose a little bit for 75, you'd be perfect. Okay. okay. Now, we're going to reduce the RPMs just a little bit, maybe 1,500. Nobody's coming on our final approach here. Line it up. Good. Great. Take your time. Lake Mills traffic, zero on golf, turn a final approach, runway 26, full stop, Lake Mills. No death grips, light touch. Oh, you can tell the death grip, huh? Oh, yes, I can. <laughs> lining right. it up, use lining it rudders, up. Use your rudders, use your rudders, okay? Right rudder, sir. Okay, we're real fast, so get rid of the power, raise your nose for speed. Easy, easy, no jerky motions. Raise the nose gently. Be gentle, okay? Sir. Okay, you have a crosswind. Go left pedal for straightening. And on the power. Bank us a little and flare. There you go, nice landing. Oh, 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 we were on the ground. Don't, don't yank back like that. You were on the ground, okay? You actually landed the airplane. I think it surprised you. <laughs> you did a good job, man. That was a nice landing. We bounced. That was a crappy landing. No, 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 no. We didn't bounce. We were on the ground. You pulled us off the ground. That wasn't a bounce. That was a good landing, actually. That was uh, easy brakes. Let's make the next left-hand turn, okay? Pull back pressure helps you slow down. Go easier on the brakes, though. Easy. We don't lock them up. There we go. Yep. Use your yellows. And we're going to do two, two left turns, and you know where you're, where you're going over Can I get some gas? Yeah, we'll go to the pumps and take a break. Up, stay in your yellow line, please. No hands. Make it those traffic. Zero one golf is clear of 2-6, going to the self-serve, like in the hills. Now there's somebody in there, so um, we're just going to go in there nice and easy. This airplane is very easy to move, so don't worry about that. I would say go in the, uh, oh, go slower. You're going pretty fast on the speed. Looks like there's more room on his left, so. Um, go around. Not right behind it, but around. Yeah, I'd say just park it on the other end of it. On That's the fine. other end, of course. No hands. Just nose it in, we'll move it by hand when we get in there, okay? No worries. And I'm going to stop right about... Yeah, just go in, you're fine. Perfect, okay. after landing check us and shut down check us please, okay? Certainly, one, one moment please. One moment. Second hill traffic, airport vehicle will be crossing hold short line from the ramp. And some uh, runway maintenance, wake in the house. Yeah, just make sure we're at 1,000 RPMs for idle, okay? Nose wheel straight, radio and electricals off. Radio and electricals off. Off.
I can hear you now. It works. Steps are up. Radios and ATIS. Before we continue, I want to go uh, five clicks. Uh, the camp on 70 Papa Delta is clear at 2 6. Thanks, guys. Okay. And Lincoln Hills Traffic Finance, Fort Joey Golf will be departing on that 2 6 to the west at Lincoln Hills Fort Joey Golf. That's that guy, he's going to get the part. Yeah. Okay, so I got to look What's that him. field elevation? Said that. Down, what's the field elevation here? Very good question. Allow me to consult my chart. That's the number here. Yeah. That uh, 888? Yeah, such an ultimate for 888. Oh, God. You know what? I, I didn't. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm not going to sell my ultimate for 888. I got to get my ATIS. Don't trust me. Set it for 888. On the wrong way. Now, when you. That's 900. Okay. When you get your ATIS now, your ATIS should, if we can get the ATIS, remember we couldn't, it should correspond to this. That should match the ATIS, right? Nice look at Bonanza. Right? Yes, correct. Okay. Now, if we can't get the ATIS, then this is the procedure. You set it for field elevation. I did not know that. Thank you for clarifying that. That's why I'm teaching you. I appreciate it. on the uh, first vehicle minor way. Okay, thank uh, you. No, let me see. Uh, I think I can get around you. I'll just go up and around. Okay, I can move if you need me. Ah, you guys are right. Okay. Oh. okay, ready? Five okay. clicks. It's not working. Let's just go. Are you spraying for weeds? Boy, there's a lot of them, huh? Yeah, actually, we're burning them. Perfect. Alright. Alright. So, um, I'm going to state my intention. I'm going to say Lake in the Hills, Cessna 6001 Golf at the fuel station. Uh, uh, no, self-serve pump. At the self-serve pump, taxiing to runway. And uh, Lake in the Hills, the Catlock 78 Pump at Delta is on the active 26 and be off to the uh, north there. Um, Lake in the Hills, Cessna 6001 Golf at the self-serve, taxiing to runway 26, Lake in the Hills. There we go. There we go. I got it. Don't worry. Nothing. I see nothing. Have right. a good day, guys. Okay, I see nothing on the taxiway. We're going. Sorry, sir. That's taxi in the middle. I'm going all the way to the end. Right? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, you are. Let's bring it to a stop before this next taxiway, and you'll do your run up right now, okay? Certainly. Stop here. There you go. Do your run up right now. One moment, please. Now, I have to help shortcut because it's past 11. I have an 11.30 interview. i got to get back for her. Okay, I, I, so we got to hustle. I'm very okay. sorry, sir. I'm That's very okay. sorry. So I'm going to help you with this. So just follow directions. Ready? Yes, sir. Just power on up there to 1700. Do your MAC check. Okay. Great. Do your car beat. 1,000, 2,000, 1,000, 3,000, off. Everything's in the green. Battle on back. How are you? Power on back to idle. And then up to 1,000. So idle's all the way at the... You'll make sure it goes all the way back. Okay. Yeah, pull it all the way out. 
Midnight Idols, okay? Alright, now we do a thousand. Okay. Okay, get yourself set up if you're ready. Get your lights on, get your transponder. Well, you already turned your transponder on ALT, so... My light's on. Landing light. Always have the landing light on for flying. This guy? Yep. Okay. Go, that's what you always do. And now the transponder should be on. I don't know why you had it on before, but it goes on ALT at this moment. This moment, okay. Okay. And so, I'm ready if you are, so let's just scoot over to the whole short lines there. And then uh, whenever you're ready to go. You can make your call. I'm sorry I made you late. That's no, okay. Feeling just took uh, longer than expected. Here's where you make your call. Lake in the Hills, Cessna 6001 Golf, uh, departing from, uh, holding to depart from runway 28, Lake in the Hills. Well, you want to depart, don't you? Yes, sir. So you're departing runway 28, Lake in the Hills? Lake in the Hills, Cessna 6001 Golf, departing runway 28, Lake in the Hills. Taxi on down. No steering with hands. There's kind of no good radio call because we're technically on the runway right now. Even though we're on a taxiway, it's just because we're across that whole short line. This runway and taxiway are too close together legally. That's why this is legally part of the runway. But all the way to the end. Yeah, you're going to go to the end, then you're going to go past these guys nice and slow. Then you're going to start your takeoff from when you're when you're next to those guys, okay? Yes. All right. I'm going to rev up. I'm going to rev up and release brakes there. Negative. Negative. No, you're going to go past them. Past them, They're yeah. too close. It's very dangerous. Oh, yes, you're correct. Sorry about that. Yeah, we're going to go past them, and then you're going to start your takeoff. Yeah, if we start rolling here or something like that and we blew a tire, we'd kill those guys. I don't want to do that. Uh, too much paperwork. Yeah, paperwork. You're recording, right? Yep. You want me to stop past them? Yeah. Go up by the numbers or something. All right. Then we'll do it. All right. This will be just fine right here. All right. Full brakes, full throttle, full green. All right, I'm gonna throw. Full, I'm going. We're going. We're going. For, I'm brakes on. Okay, so full throttle. Everything in the green. Yes. Okay, we may now go. Right hand on the throttle, please. Light touch. Everything's good. Okay. Forty miles an hour. Fifty miles an hour. Rotate. Holding up. I'm going to do west for a little bit, then I'm going to turn around. Because we want to go east. And we're going to climb at 75 on the speed, right? Yes. Pitching up for 75. Good. That's a right rudder for torque. Oh, easy. Don't do that. Okay. That's not good. Close to the ground. Dental right rudder, but you need it. Okay, you got to keep the right rudder in there, John. You're going to climb all the way up to 1400 before you make any turns. All right, we're at 1400. Lift that left wing. And 619 one November is downwind for 30 Monroe. And head on home. Oh, okay. Lake Hills traffic, Warrior 43020 will be taxiing to 26, and then we'll be departing to the southwest of Lake Hills. And Lake Hills, Zero and Gulfs. The pattern 26 uh, left traffic, and actually we're going to head off uh, east Lake Hills. Okay, now watch your rudders. That ball is really sloppy. You gotta be thinking about them feet, okay?
Did you buy the Microsoft Flight Sim with the rudders and stuff? Not yet. Step by step. Yeah. I, just, I just got the Flightcom uh, Denali's a couple days ago. Gotcha. So I'm step by step by step. Can't do everything in one day. Yep. All right. Heading east. Good. Gonna go for an altitude of what? 2500? Sure. That'll be fine. Open road traffic 619 November is left base for 30. Is that because we're eastbound? No. That doesn't start until 3000 AGL. 2500 is just a good number because we're under the 3000 airspace up ahead. And it's higher, high enough for a good visibility. Okay. And maybe above the bumps too. Okay. I'm assuming you're gonna you're gonna either email me something or we're gonna sit down and chat after your sometime in the future. Yep. Okay. And I want to remember it's final for three zero. We're gonna be full stop. Let's All keep right. us on east, okay? Yeah, sure. Seventy miles an hour, twenty two fifty. Heading straight east. I'm sorry, what what did you say? 80 miles an hour, 2300 oh. feet, heading east. Thank you, Nelson Traffic. Uh, Lesson 36 Victor, taxiing out to 26 for giving departure to the south. over there. Okay. 2,500 feet, you want to level off. Level off, pulling back in my... 90 miles an hour, pulling back in my throttle. Delta Sierra, you on frequency? Yeah. We're going to clear off the taxiway for you. Wonderful, thanks. No traffic, 7-4 Victor, downwind, runway 30, touch go. I was down, I was down, I don't want to climb. Don't trim. Don't trim. Pitch, set the pitch first with your hand. Set the pitch first. Hit the nose down. This is too high. Like okay, that. Set it where you want it. Like that. Keep it there. While you hold it there, you can trim. Burlington Air Traffic Citation, 4-2 off route yeah. booth, 15 miles. I gotta miles see what you want to do. Southwest yep. will be entering a right down one point two nine. I don't want to gain altitude, That's the, or lose it. Traffic line service vehicle, pull the act of the lake in the house. Am I correct that, that, that that's Kemper? That's not Kemper, is it? That's Kemper? Well, the first landmark, of course, is going to be Lake the river here. Yeah. 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 You got Lake, Lake, Lake Zurich. Zurich. Yeah, you see Lake Zurich up there, right? Straight ahead. Yeah, and then past Lake Zurich is Kemper. Right. I don't really see Kemper, but I see Lake Zurich. Sorry, excuse me, my apologies. No traffic. No look at this plane. Four Victor. Left base. Zero. Left base. Three zero. All right. As soon as I get over Camper, I'm going to say uh, Executive Tower, Cessna six zero zero one Golf. Over Camper, inbound. Well, oh, I need my ATIS. Got you. Close but clear of all active taxiways and runways. Use caution. If I don't initial contact, you have information echo. Chicago Executive Airport information echo. 1552 Zulu. Wind 340 at Niner. Visibility 10. Sky is clear. Temperature 23. Dew point 12. Altimeter 3006. Islet runway 16 approaches in use. Landing and departing runways 34 and 30. IFR arrivals, unable to cancel IFR to circle, advise Chicago approach and initial contact. Notice the airmen, vehicles and... Per Everything's fine except the temperatures at the point where you typically want to lean the mixture. I think we're at 70 degrees. Did I bother leaning the mixture? Well, that would only relate to being on the ground. Okay, no worries. In, in the air, if you're above 3,000 feet, One five. Then, you, then you'd lean. Okay. Wind. Everything's pretty stable, but I'm going too fast. Visibility 10, sky is clear. Temperature 23, 2.12, altimeter 3006, pilots runway 
one six approaches in use. Landing and departing, runway three four and three zero. Here we go. IFR arrivals, unable to cancel IFR to circle. Advise Chicago approach and initial contact. Notice to airmen, this vehicles the altitude. and personnel. What's wrong? Close to clear of all active taxiways and runways. Use caution. Advise on initial contact, you have information echo. That's Lake Zurich. Chicago Executive Airport information echo. You can confirm. 1552 Zulu, wind 340 at Niner. That's, that's Milwaukee right there. Sky is I clear. see Milwaukee. Temperature Where? 23. Milwaukee, the Zulu airport's right there. Altimeter 3006. That's the airport right there. One six approaches in use. That one over there to the right of downtown or left of downtown? Straight that way. Downtown and then move over to the right. That's, 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 that's Milwaukee right there. Uh, that looks like an international terminal to me. Notice the airmen. Oh, no, that's got to be that guy over there. Ah, yeah. Clear all active taxiways and runways. Use caution. Advise on initial contact. You have information echo. Yeah, see those runways? They're huge. That's O'Hare. Chicago Remember, Airport we're always left Central. of downtown, okay? 1552 Zulu, wind 340 at Niner, visibility 10, sky is clear. This is Lake Zurich, that's camera over there. Good. Don't go any lower, please. Altimeter 3006, Islet's runway 16 approaches in use, landing and departing, runway 34 and 30. IFR arrivals, unable to cancel IFR to circle, advise Chicago approach and initial contact. Notice to airmen, vehicles and personnel, close but clear of all active taxiways and runways. Use caution. Advise on initial contact. You have information echo. Echo. Got it? I have it. I, have, I already wrote it down. Good. Chicago Executive Airport. Let's put on the tower, huh? Echo. One, five, five, two, zero. Okay. You can call Lake Zurich is also a landmark, right? Sure. All right. I want you to just call over Lake Zurich. Executive Tower, Cessna 6001 Golf, over Lake Zurich, inbound for landing. Echo. Echo. We have information, Echo. Cessna 6001 Golf, Executive Tower, ident. Ident. 6001 Golf. Hey, you gotta just relax on the radios, you're releasing. Cessna 01 Golf, left traffic, runway 34. 01 Golf, runway 34. Okay, aim us to the airport. Basically, I'm just going to go straight in. Straight in. Well, straight at the airport, but... Right, runway 34 is right this way, so... Look at your heading indicator. You want to check that? Southeast. East, southeast, south, southeast. Right for the airport. There's the um, the two bu black buildings and the red buildings on the, one in the right area. There's the little bubble. I had to have called them before I hit the bubble, the little dome, the, the silver thing right in the middle of the grass. That's like the landmark, that's like the, the, the demarcation of their, their space. Uh -huh. And I see the airport straight ahead, so runway 34 is boom right there, so we're basically coming straight in. So there won't be any, ba uh, unless there's traffic, there won't be any base or turns or beam the numbers, they'll be straight in, correct? Not if you're landing on 3-4. Maybe facing 340 degrees. Look at your heading indicator. There's 12. Yeah, so you ain't going straight into 3-4. We don't left traffic for 3-4. Oh, he right. Did, he did tell you left traffic 3-4. Okay, I have to go around. I have to make my turn. Affirmative. You'll be on the left downwind. So you keep aiming us right at that airport. That's great. When you get close, you just merge to the right, so you're in left traffic at 3-4. I come down to uh, 1,800 feet when we pass the black and the red buildings, yes? Oh, you can go to pattern altitude whenever you like now. I'll wait for those buildings. Because right now, you're under 2,500 feet, so you're okay, right? I, sh I hope. According to your map, you are left of Route 12, so you're under 2,500 right now. Skyhawk 738, traffic 11 o'clock, two and a half miles opposite direction to Skyhawk Alton, indicates 2,000. We have traffic in sight, no matter. He's talking about... Skyhawk 01 Gulf, 
Uh, traffic 11 o'clock and a mile and a half has you in sight. Altitude indicates 2,700 Skyhawk. Has you in sight, no factor. Traffic in sight. Zero one golf, traffic in sight. See him up there? Thank you. Yes, there he is. Okay. Negative tower 375, Sierra Charlie visual for runway 16. Falcon 375, Sierra Charlie executive tower. Report canceling off out of circle for the down one, runway 34, left or right down one, your choice. I'm going to descend to 1800 feet. Sierra Charlie, cancel IFR at this time, take the right down one. Falcon 5, Sierra Charlie, squawk VFR, enter right down one, runway 34. Right down one, 34 for a 5, Sierra Charlie, squawk VFR. Flight 1150 for flight following, contact Chicago departure 120.55, good day. Over to uh, 12055, Cap 11, uh, 70 CM. Yeah, let's keep your power up, okay? Check this tower, Learjet 904 is 7 off here, 20 northeast. Uh, VFR landing with Echo. And before landing, check those seatbelts are on. Sierra Executive Tower. Uh, I didn't Got a checklist to read. Yeah, when you get a chance, John, your before landing checklist. What do you need? You're going to read your before landing checklist. Bill Harness is on, mixture's fuel rich. Our Pete is on, yes it is. Eventually. There's Pete 7514. And then right traffic runway 34. I have to put my flaps later. on. No, later. Right traffic this is the stuff you gotta do when you come into land, okay? I'm going too fast. How do I reduce my airspeed? Pitch up just a little bit, huh? There's no speed that we cruise at. There's just an RPM we set. So whatever the speed is on the speedometer, you're good to go. Flaps? No flaps? Eventually you're going to use 10. Air speed 60 to 70. On I'm final approach. Yeah. I'm at 90 right now. Well, on final approach, you'll slow it down, right? Sure. I have to make my turn now. My base turn? No. Wait till we're over the railroad tracks. See the tracks? Yes. Yeah, then you'll turn to follow the railroad tracks. They're a very good landmark. Skog 01 Gulf. I keep the uh, base in close. There's traffic to follow. Runway 34, clear to land. We in the tree, tree zero at the 7. Zero 01 Gulf, runway 34 to land. Correct. Close enough. Falcon uh, 5 Sierra Charlie, reduce your I'm going to have you type up a transcript of all, the, all, all the calls that were made to you today from the tower. We only talked to you like four times, so. Okay, get on your downwind. Don't get any lower. You're awfully low. Now the power should be back at 21 for your traffic pattern. Taping the nose up. Gulf Sierra, you can, be, you can proceed direct to the uh, right base if you like for runway 34. Right, direct right base. Hello, sir. Yeah, keep that nose up, sir. No descending just yet. Okay, you're beam your points of touch down. Right, Pete's on. Yes. Flaps. Nope, 1,700. 1,700. 10 flaps. 10 flaps. Got it. I have to wait for my 45 angle. Now, because you're low, you're going to do it sooner. Because you're low. Right. Might as well just keep the nose down for 80 where it belongs. And just go to base, please. Yes, sir. I'm going to base. Don't pull back like that. You do need the airspeed. Executive Tower, Bonanza. Aim us towards the numbers. Golf Charlie, the runway. Go, uh, Turn it sharper. Three, four. Bonanza four nine five. Golf Charlie, Executive Tower. You're gonna have, forget the base now. Aim us right to final. Charlie, number two. Don't pull back. That's, that's how you'll accelerate uh, stall. Okay, that's very bad. Runway real close. Runway three four. Clear to leave. Wind turn this way because the wind is really trying to blow you. Lower the traffic in sight for five. All right. So power should be back. Back to seventeen, sir. And now because we're close in, go to fourteen hundred RPMs. And back to 1,200 RPMs. Now you're going to land the airplane with 1,200 RPMs in. Just a little bit of power is going to help you feel control when you get down by the runway, okay? And just right on down to the runway, doing great. Whoop. Easy does it. 
hit in the middle. Lighter touch, sir. There it is. Whoop, you're overdriving us, sir. Lighter touch. Power out! Just hold the back pressure gently and smoothly. Hand on the power. Hold back pressure. Don't pull back like that. That's how you did it last time. You're on the ground. You're all cool. Okay, brakes. Heavy braking. Good afternoon, Chicago. Hold back pressure. Up, slow down. I'm helping you because I want to make this turn, okay? Zero miles to the southeast. Right. To transition over and the top. Turn Go to the lake in the hill. Here's your yellow. Cherokee 1376 Tango, Executive Tower. Ident. Ident. 76 Tango. Stay in the middle. Cross, right. these, cross the lines and stop. Where am I going? Cross the lines and stop. You have to stop, sir. You don't have clearance to do anything else. You don't know where you're going, right? Sir. We have no clearance. Sir. Now we need to tell him. Three, zero. I have four. Whoa, 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 whoa. You gotta tell him you wanna go to uh, oh. area two. Tell the tower? Yeah, he's probably doing ground too. Executive tower, Cessna 6001 golf request uh, movement to area two. Switch to clear seven gulf to there. Seven gulf here. Reduce your approach speed. Square through in the final traffic room position. Yeah. Car prior to your arrival. It was squared up with because we're slowing. Ask him if you like us. Thanks. And then five gulf yeah. Charlie runway three four line up and wait. Three four line up and wait. Five gulf Charlie. Traffic's on base. Oh. Falcon five here. Charlie say parking. Atlantic. Hang on. Hang Falcon on. Falcon five here. Charlie turn left to the taxi to Atlantic via Lima. Remain this frequency. Via Lima to Atlantic. This frequency pass here, Charlie. Skag zero one gulf. Say parking. There you go. Zero one gulf parking. No, it's area two. Track zero one golf. Area two. Working. You jumped on him. Hey, yeah, we're going to area two for uh, zero one golf. Bonanza five, Gulf Charlie. Turn left heading three zero zero, runway three four, cleared for takeoff. Right, okay. Three zero zero, clear to go three four five, Gulf Charlie. Skag zero one golf, taxi via Kilo Echo, cross runway two four Bravo, remain this frequency. Zero one golf, Kilo Echo, uh, crossing runway two four, two four Bravo. Perfect. Okay. Clear 7 Gulf Sierra, runway 3-4, clear to land, wind 3 2 0 at 8 Land 3 4 left, that's that one. And it was 1-3-7-6 Tango for the transition, is that correct? That is affirmative, 1-3-7-6 yeah, Tango. Yeah. Right, Bonanza 7-6 Tango, transition approved as requested, executive altimeter 3-0-0-8. Transition approved, 0-8-7-6 Tango, thanks much. Tower report 2-5, southwest T is Airport 25, say request. Uh, southwest, he's the maintenance. Airport 25, proceed via runway 6 and hold short uh, to uh, runway 34. 06, hold short 34, airport 25. Okay, put your flaps up, put your carbide in. We'll hit the wrist when you park, okay? Sure. Alright, now, ailerons, just stay neutral. Because the wind is. Put in that wind sack, look like it's right behind I'm going, you. I'm going there. Pardon? I'm going straight. You, you are going straight up, talking about the wind sock and your ailerons are, are fine because the wind's right behind long. you. Wind's right behind you, okay, so no crosswind. Yeah, you want to go on the echo, correct? That would be the second left-hand turn. Between the tarmac and the green. There. So the first left-hand turn would be Charlie, we don't want that. You right. want the second left. In there. Correct. Clear third off is going to Atlantic. Uh, Sierra, to Atlantic, remain this frequency. Here. You see how you cut this corner? Yes. You should have stayed on your yellow. Okay, we are cleared to cross, clear left and clear right. Here, clear left, cross. here? No, you're cleared to cross, this is 2-4. Okay. We're going to go on Bravo, so the taxiway is always after the taxiway sign. So here's the Good Bravo morning, sign. Executive that will be your Bravo. Nine or zero Tango Mike, I'm at Hangar 5 and I'd like to taxi across the field you signature. Good morning, Tango Mike, Executive Ground, good morning. Uh, taxi via runway 6, hold short runway 3-4. Taxi via runway 6, hold short of runway 3-4, zero tangle mic. Airport 25, cross runway 1-6, cross runway 3-0, uh, then kilo to maintenance. Cross 1-6, 3-0, kilo to maintenance, airport 25, thanks sir. Okay, so... Anticipate this next turn by killing all your power now. So we don't approach it too fast. So we don't have to like, you know, slam on the brakes real hard. There, this is a nice speed, John. This will work. Don't 
Swing it wide. Stay on your line.